know it has been long since I uploaded a new video but today I felt like I have an opportunity for me to upload a new video and that's why you can see me around and I'm recording this video so for today's lesson I'm gonna show you how uh, to improvise in the key of E minor using this instrumental of for Sephora so I'm not gonna go deep into it but I'm just gonna show you the code I'm gonna show you uh, the improvisation and even the rhythm so please pay attention to everything I'm gonna show you and I hope you can benefit from the lesson but before I start I would like you to subscribe to my youtube channel to like to share even comment and remember also to click on the bell so that you don't miss anything I upload on my youtube channel Thanks for the support and I hope the video will be beneficial to you. Let's get started. Alright, uh, the song is not really difficult, so I'm not playing the song itself. So uh, what I'm doing is just to show you how you can um, uh, improvise in your own uh, progression because there are some songs that are similar to this uh song so uh there is like song like david dance uh you can check the link in my description i'm gonna put it there uh the song they are really similar and then you can use the same leaks or you can use the same improvisation there so uh the song is played in the key of e minor so uh i'm gonna start first uh with uh, the code uh, because uh, it's better to know the rhythm and then it's gonna help you so uh, the code uh, it played in the key of E minor so this is my E minor but I'm not gonna take this E minor here I wanna play it he here so when uh, the song start I'm playing a E minor then I'm gonna change the position of my fingers and then play something like this. So my fingers are like this and change it. Then you change. And then from there I change again. Again, let me start and then this one and then you're gonna move this finger here the middle finger and then you change like this so you're gonna do it strumming so that's how I play it like on the intro so there's this one uh, and then from there you're gonna play a E minor and then there is also a A minor the A minor comes from the E minor down here on your second fret you just go with it on your fifth fret so you start the verse and then you wanna play a B7 this is my B7 so you play your E your A minor and then B7 so from there you can play uh, now uh, the chorus which you can change your B uh, sorry your E minor you want to change it to a E7 and for you to change it you're gonna remove your middle finger and then you're gonna put your pinky down so you're gonna play and then play again your A play your D7 so here your E7 the same way you play it here on the fifth fret on your E then you're gonna play your G G comes from the E major but you go to your third fret and then you play your C major 7 
you can play your normal C, but if you want, you can play your C major 7. And then from this, you can play this one. This is quite a nice chord. I'm just pressing three strings, those first one, and then I put my index finger here on your fourth string, fourth fret. And then you can play your B7 here or down here. So the verse, let me play it. Now, uh, from the chorus, you can add some spices if you want to. So you're going to use your pinky, especially like when you are playing your A minor, you can use your pinky down here. You see? Putting your pinky. So let me play the chorus. So you play here. Take it out and then you play your B7. So that's how I play it. Or if you want to, you can add this chord, which I didn't play it, but you can add this one to go to your A. Uh, minor because I'm playing it here on the B dominant 7 but you can play this one which is nice uh, uh, playing your E and then you put your pinky on your fourth fret so it might be a E over uh, G sharp and then you want to play is how I play it so now to improvise it it's quite easy also to improvise it you can mix a lot of things in it I'm playing the major scale which is here you can start here from your G and then you can add this one Tonic, and then you can play also here. That's the G. So you can connect here and here and here together. So I can start somewhere here, like uh, the verse, like when it's at here. You can start here especially this thing of pulling in and pull off so you can go still the same thing and then you can even go down here if you want to
here again you can play also the G major scale which is down here or the G pentatonic and then here and then here all of these same thing so that's how I play it now you can uh, put them together and then try to create something as soon as you have everything here as soon as you have uh, the scale you can try to uh, make your own thing and it's gonna sound nice thanks for watching this video thanks for the support and thanks for everything I hope this video was beneficial to you and I hope you learned something from the video. So before this video is finished again, I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to like, to share, to comment and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss anything when I upload a new video. So see you next time for another video tutorial. Until then, keep safe.